This is going to be a tutorial, a real beginner's tutorial on how to make your first sine wave or make your first uh, audio through an oscillator in the programming language called Chuck, which I just learned about yesterday and I'm really super excited that they made something so simple. Uh, having worked with kind of higher level stuff and more complex things uh, from sound fonts to program programming DAWs and such, it's <clears throat> it was really encouraging to see something that was um, kind of so basic but also so close to uh, the the source code um, like Chuck. So if you're interested in in playing around I would encourage you to go to chuck.cs.princeton.edu and click on the download Chuck um, and depending on your operating system obviously you want to click on whichever one is appropriate for you since I'm on Windows I would go ahead and click uh, executable here and just follow the instructions to the installer which is super simple once you're done with that you'll be able to load up the IDE which is basically your programming environment um, I believe it's uh, integrated developing development environment or something like that and uh, you'll be greeted with uh, three windows. The first one is where you would put in um, your your code so it's color coded to make it easier uh, to read. The uh, second window is going to be your virtual machine. In here it will put in any of your source code in, in a protected environment um, to allow you to manage it and whatnot. The last window is going to be the console and here you'll see any of the information from the environment uh, kind of come out and you can you can tell it to output things if you're curious about what's happening behind the scenes um, or if there is a problem trying to run your code uh, it'll let you know here it'll it'll complain about your code whether it's a syntax error or whatnot um, and so to begin uh, let's let's declare a, a sign oscillator um, and we'll call it osc just uh, we can call it anything really we can literally call it anything but just to make it a little more intuitive and, and simple we'll call it osc because uh, we sh I think we're only going to be working with one oscillator right now um, and so we're going to make that uh, output to our deck which is basically the framework for your audio system so, uh, you know, on Windows, I have a Focusrite uh, driver installed, and that manages uh, pretty much everything. And then on Linux, you would have your respective uh, sound systems and things of that nature. So, the I guess the first thing we want to do is just make a tone. And I believe uh, 220 is a frequency for A. Uh, I might be wrong, but uh, let's just assume that it's A, um, and we'll apply that frequency to our oscillator. As you can see, the, the oscillator here is being called. It's saying the oscillator that we referenced earlier that we said was a sine, a sine wave, we're going to now change a property of that called uh, frequency. And we're going to make 220 that frequency. And if anybody knows uh, C or you know, similar languages, it's kind of backwards. But we'll forgive that for now. Um, and then the next thing we want to do is really just get it to uh, make a sound. So we'll call it a half a second. So that'll be 0.5 uh, second. And then we want it to play that half second right now. So what it does is creates the sign oscillator, uh, applies the 220 frequency, and then plays it for half a second. Um, so let's let's get this running. The first thing we need to do is hit start virtual machine. And what that does is you'll see this timer start. And it's one of the, the powerful things about this uh, application um, and this environment is that it's all time-based. So it's super easy and friendly for, for any other musicians or, or even, you know, getting just your timing for, for kicks and, and snares and hitting the chords at the right time, and et cetera. Um, so now that we have that running, if we hit Add Shred, that will put this source code into the virtual machine and I'm not sure why they're called shreds um, I imagine maybe it's a sound thread or something like that but it basically adds the machine there if we hit replace shred it'll actually uh, replace the source code so let's say we wanted we hit 220 and we wanted to change it to 440 
uh, we would just type 440 and then replace it. And remove shred is just to stop it, uh, to remove it from uh, our little queue here. So if we hit add shred, we heard it. Boom. It was real quick. So let's chain and make it a little longer and put it to two seconds. And there it is. So let's do, let's make it, let's see, five seconds. And we'll do, and change this real quick to 440. Now what you heard there was two waveforms colliding with each other. That was called constructive uh, interference or something along those lines. Construct constructive, uh, let's just call it constructive interference for right now. But uh, the two sine waves collided with each other and kind of created almost that saw waveform that was uh, kind of hard for me to hear. I, I'm recording this on a microphone so it probably isn't that bad for you guys, but um, that was really annoying. So one of those things, uh, one of the things that I want to do, and I encourage you to do is for all your projects is to set kind of a, a reasonable volume um, so you don't annoy yourself or hurt your speakers or anything like that. Um, and so the way we do that is by using the osc.gain property, or the dot .gain property. So now we're saying it, um, I believe this variable goes from 1 to 0. Uh, I uh, so I think it starts off at 1, and then half of 1 is, uh, you know, 50, and then half of 50 is 25. So we'll start it at um, that number, and let's give it another shot. There we go. It's a lot more quiet now. Um, so one of the things that we can also do um, is kind of make it go through a few notes so it's not as mundane as just a single A note being played. Ooh, I already did 440 so let's do 220. Uh, we'll do half of that so that's oscillator.frequency. Uh, we're gonna have it play for half a second. now and we're going to do the same for let's say 880 make that another half second So now that we have that, well, um, if you saw how I had to cont continuously hit add shred to make it uh, run again and again. So one of the things we want to do um, is to learn the while loop, uh, which allows us to basically run the the application or the software over and over again. Um, and with that, we'll do within brackets anything within brackets is going to be played so if you see here I've encompassed this code in, within this bracket so while it's true and we haven't changed anything to make it not true um, play this so this will loop forever endlessly uh, another thing we want to do is have format discipline and make sure we put our spaces um, not that it's required but um, you know there are coders who program for themselves and pro coders that program to uh, allow people to actually read what they do and, and if we can get somewhere closer to the second one I think we'll all be better off. Um, so if we hit shred yep that continues forever and then what happens if we hit shred again? And if we hit shred again and here there's a little more constructive interference going on. Some of the some of the tones are a little bit higher than others. I'm not sure if the microphone can pick it up. But let's go ahead and close all this. And so now that we have our first loop, um, let's do something else that's pretty interesting. We'll we'll um, to peek. Uh, your curiosity, I'll, I'll include a math li library function 
um, which is basically just a randomizer. And let's do, uh, let's say 200, which is a frequency I particularly like, all the way up to 2000. And then we're, we'll make it play for uh, 0.5 seconds. You know, I'm going to change something else, but let's just finish this statement real quick. And I'll do now. And so just to like highlight uh, the new addition or the addition that we put in there, uh, I made it a little longer. So everything else is going to go half a uh, 0.1 seconds, and this will go for half a second. So um, let's apply this mathematical function to our oscillator. And so what this does is it says it calls uh, make find a random number using the math library between 200 and 2000. So any frequency in here, it'll pick a number at random. I'm not sure what algorithm it uses, but it'll pick the random number and then apply it to the frequency. So let's hear what that sounds like. That sounds pretty cool. Kind of sounds like the inspiration of uh, some some more songs, but let's uh, let's continue. So if we wanted to, uh, let's say, oh, I'll demonstrate the replace function here. If we hit hit that 0.5, let's say we wanted these to be one second. We can hit replace. Kind of adds a little echo, reverb. So I hope um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, tutorial. If you have any questions, don't uh, fret. Shoot, uh, send me a message. Uh, I hope you guys um, get inspired to play with it and let me know. Uh, maybe we can work on a project together.